Hi there everyone, this is Scott Nicholson. It's September 9th and this is the next installment in my weekly MIT blog where I briefly talk about what I'm doing here on my research leave um, at MIT. So this last week I have been spending most of the week preparing for my colloquium. Last night I gave a colloquium on uh, mechanisms in modern board game design and uh, had a great attendance. Actually the room was packed, there was standing room only. Um, the talk was recorded and it'll be posted and made available as soon as we get everything cleaned up with it. It went really well. I was happy with it. I talked about uh, sort of my background and how I got to where I am and then talked a lot about uh, modern board game mechanisms. I presented a, um, a taxonomy that I created for mechanisms. That's going to be one of the things I continue to develop because I think that's something that'll that'll prove useful as I continue on with my work. So that has been a lot of my focus this week is really preparing that talk and uh, putting that together. What's been interesting about here at MIT, and this is something I'm just starting to uh, reflect upon, is how well they do their technology infrastructure. And, and I guess, duh, you know, <laughs> but that doesn't always happen that way. Schools don't that do well in teaching technology don't always a good, do a good job with their own technology. But the technology support here has been really good. The wireless networks, uh, the support of that sort of thing, getting things turned onto the network, that's all been solid. What I've really appreciated, however, I have an Android phone and I've been using uh, the, MIT, the official MIT Android app to get around campus. It's got two things that I've used quite a bit, which has been very, hap very useful. And the first is a campus map that shows you where you are on the map. That's very useful because a lot of times I'm wandering around here and you've just got a bunch of buildings around you and you're just in the middle of them without really good landmarks and they all kind of look the same. And so having that, that ongoing map has been very useful. But the thing I've used more than anything is the shuttle information. So there's a bus shuttle service that runs around campus and I use that to get from the dorm where I'm living up to the office where I work. It's about a 20 minute walk and when it's a nice day I walk, but it's been raining all week and so I've been using the shuttle. And what's nice about this is it shows you all the stops the shuttle makes and it shows you where each sh shuttle is in real time. So if I'm in my office or in my dorm and it's pouring down rain, I can look and see, oh, okay, there's a shuttle coming in six minutes. I know to head down there and it's real time information. And that's been cool. And there's a lot of little cool technical things they do that's really well. This app also has the events that are going on in that day, a directory of stuff. And so all sorts of good stuff in this app. And that's, that's been really impressive. So I'll continue to talk about things like that that impress me as I, as I work here. Um, so, so far, it's been interesting. It's been, last night was kind of eye-opening to me because it was me talking about board games to a lot of people who may have only been focused on video games. And one of the things that it's going to help me to do is to be able to talk about board games and what, what's going on with board games in a way that would fit in with the world of video game researchers. Because in the, in the game scholars area right now, there's a lot of focus on video games. And I've been frustrated trying to figure out how to get in with board games. And so I think being able to do these talks and have conversations is going to help me to find the appropriate language to use to make that all work together. Another thing that went up this week is my new blog um, called becauseplaymatters.com and that's going to be the home for all of my work in these areas. So uh, if you want to head over there, there's an RSS feed you can sign up for and I'll be updating that blog with the papers and the, the pieces that I talk about and other things. I'm still kind of feeling it out, but uh, I wanted to have a space that was really set up for games and education and learning and where I'm, where I'm going there. So that's at becauseplaymatters.com. So until next week, I will sign off and talk to you later. Bye-bye.